Right, going right into game three here. Started a little bit ahead of me. Clovos we have spawning in the bottom left. And this time our yellow Protoss here, Bahamut Zero, spawning in the top right. This one is for all the Marvels. This is for the series. Although this isn't a series, just a series of three. So not best of two. Um, but every win counts when you're trying to advance to that round of 16 tournament and hope that you don't end up in the loser's bracket, or even worse, uh, left uh, just to fight in the Bronze League, as so many of us are. Pylon going down again, halfway between the ramp and the base for Bahamut Zero. Meanwhile, Clovos again preferring the Pylon near his ramp. Uh, this didn't quite pay off for him in the, in the last game, as um, you know there was really no point in having that that wall, especially since he wasn't able to warp in around it. Uh, so Blistering Sands, a few things to note, is there is an incredibly long distance. As I, as I show you with my map here, you have to go down your ramp, and as this pylon, or as this uh, probe just showed, walk all the way across the map, up to this ramp, and up here. Sorry, that's getting a bit jittery here. I'm using a magic mouse, so perhaps that's sacrilege in the professional gaming community. Uh, maybe I should be using a razor or something, but I work in the hit department. I use a magic mouse. I'm not ashamed of it. Here's the production tab. Again, both players just choosing to throw down a gateway. Easy breezy, checking there for anything funny going on inside the behind the shrubbery. Clovos as well. Uh, maybe that was just a little bit of a distraction by Bahamut Zero, pretending to throw down a pile on there, forcing Clovos to go and check to make sure that indeed there's nothing to worry about. Bahamut Zero, oh, this is incredible. Just look at all these uh, rally points. This is going to be really frustrating for this Protoss player who meanwhile intelligently is throwing down a pylon of his own here. That's going to give him vision at the bottom of this, these rocks. Clovos still has a probe inside this base. These bases are very huge, much bigger than on uh, Metalopolis or Steps of War. A lot of area to defend, a lot of area to hide inside the base. Chrono Boost going down on the Nexus. Uh, meanwhile, saving up the energy here on Clovos' Nexus, perhaps using it to get out the uh, warp gate technology early. Uh, last game, it really did not pay off to not get that warp gate. Uh, the charge, uh, the early charge research, I'm, I'm not really sure what, what his goal was there, but it definitely was not the right push for uh, mass stalkers, which was displayed by Bahamut Zero. Probe is still alive, just barely hanging on. He needs to run it away. Uh, it seems like he basically forgot to maintain that and let it die, but. Um, Protoss is unique in that, with its shields, you can just run away your probe, let the shields recharge up, and keep it alive for much longer. So, going to the unit count and staging, station, we have, uh, we're even in probe, so pretty identical. We do have one zealot out for Bahamut Zero. Uh, meanwhile, Clovo is just satisfied sitting here, and he does begin the warp gate research almost immediately, and, like I suspected, saving up that chrono boost to, for this research, getting out really quickly. Um, another gateway going down here. Cybernetics core up and researching warp gate for Bahamut Zero as well. However, just cro choosing to chrono boost probe. So as you can see, Bahamut Zero climbing ahead in probes a little bit. Coming back to the production tab, another gateway going down for Clovos. And a pylon here. Again, just spreading out his pylons throughout his base. Really wide, especially with a base this large. Now with these destructible rocks, um, as I talked about this long distance here, since there's no action going on, I'll do a little bit more map analysis for people that haven't heard this, don't watch uh, professional games. Um, once you knock down these rocks, uh, in, both in your own base and the opponent's base, the distance becomes much shorter. You can just cut right through. Um, so that's going to help you a lot with the ground force um, and, and save you from having to run all the way across this way. So I'm, I'd be interested to see if anyone's going to be knocking down these walls in this game or if they're just going to be pushing into the ramp as traditional. And once again, both players just satisfied sitting on a single base. A little stalker just chilling out here, kind of hiding there, not really sure. Another stalker coming to join him. Meanwhile, uh, Bahamut Zero just pushing out uh, zealots this time. Uh, warp Gate research is just about done, but not quite. Two more gateways going down in Clovos' base. Going back to Chrono Boosting Probes, I think his energy climb up a little bit here, uh, whereas Bahamut Zero has been pretty uh, active in, in, in keeping that low. Looks like a, an Immortal coming out, so this is actually our first non-gateway unit in this entire series. Bahamut Zero seeing nothing funky is going on at his rocks and just satisfied to go ahead and push forward with these uh, Zealots. Clovos, though, wisely um, taking this Zelnaga Watchtower and the Southern Zelnaga Watchtower, so he's going to see these units pushing right in. What does he have to defend it? 
Well, I'm not quite sure this is a perfect wall off, but one stalker is out, but one stalker will fall, and, and maybe even two stalkers are going to fall to these zealots. Uh, meanwhile, put, uh, pumping out another stalker, so he might look to do some kind of surround AS, wisely pulling back these stalkers. So these four zealots are going to fall as they retreat. They're going to be met with two more stalkers. If Clovis micros this well, he's going to escape, uh, just allowing them to pass. Although he can chase after his stalkers are faster than the zealots. Maybe he'll be picking up at least one. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure I like this move coming back to chase after these two stalkers and uh, Clovos wisely microing away Obama Zero away as well, saving all his probes. This guy's shield will, will charge and he will live to fight another day. Meanwhile, two immortals out. Hopefully you've been following the production tab as I've been following the action on the field. Um, and this is going to, uh, this could really surprise Clovos as he comes to distract him here, um, coming towards these rocks as if he's going to bust in there, and it looks like he is actually going to go for this bust. Nothing to defend here. Stalker's pulling back to the ramp. I'm not sure why he, uh, he pulled back there, and this uh, pylon is going to allow him to see this entire attack, and these rocks are just falling so quick with these immortals. Uh, I would like to see Bahamut Zero bring along a probe and throw down a proxy pylon so he's able to warp in, um, but at this point, he's just going to be able to push in here, at least take down this pylon, and it looks like Clovos won't be supply blocked, but he'll be close as Bahamut Zero continues to push in, four more vulnerable pylons, they're finally bringing these uh, stalkers over, but unfortunately these portals are just going to make short work of these, uh, having the high armor, there's really nothing they can, they can do. Uh, at this point, Clovos is uh, still not supply blocked, it seems, as his units are starting to fall. War only warp gates out, along with that robot single robotics facility. At this point, Bahamut Zero has basically already defeated the entire army. Still no warp gates, even though the research was made by Clovos. So he's forced to just sit and wait as his base is destroyed. The GG goes down. Bahamut Zero has taken the series 2-1. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this, and I hope you all are looking forward to the rest of the tournament. Uh, stay tuned as I hope to be updating this, if not daily, um, at least weekly. And if not weekly, I will promise to, ca to cast the finals. So... Hope you enjoyed. I hope I wasn't too horrible. As I said, this is my first attempt at casting, and uh, enjoy the rest of the tournament. Thank you. Signing off.